So if you're here for the first time, make sure to subscribe. We are doing the Vlogmas, so which means a video every single day for you guys. So I have a bunch of content. I'm using this kind of uh, paint, which is kind of a heat kind of paint. So if you're gonna do that, just make sure you use this kind of paint. It's pretty cheap. I think I feel like five bucks for one. So one can I use on the Corvette and now on the truck. And it's pretty simple. I made like a template, right? It goes on top uh, doesn't need to be perfect because the pads is gonna wash that out I'm gonna let you dry and then we're gonna start work on the truck this solution to paint the center of the rotors helps a lot especially if you live in um, pretty bad winter like I do and it's not fun right so let's wait for that to dry and we we're gonna attempt to do the install Look at how close is this. Well, first things first, what I did with the rotors, I have this coal stove that I normally use to heat my house. So you have fire there, right? So I put the the rotors, here are the rears, here are the fronts, close to so the paint could cure. So we're good to go. Let's start stalling. And this is the tool that I, the, the tool kit that I got those are my lug nuts so basically this two key here goes to this lug nut here and that's how we're gonna try to break loose the lug nuts all right one down That's the setup I'm using two jack stands, a jack just to keep safe. The tire is off of the floor enough. Let's take the wheels off. Uh, Problem those wheels are super heavy. You just realize how heavy and how big they are. It's crazy. 41,000 miles on this bad boy here. It's definitely time since I'm gonna do pads. It's better just to do rotors as well. 18 millimeters. It's a little wiggle. Whoa, that was really bad. Just be careful when you put in this on the side because the, the brake lines. I uh, This truck is actually easy. You can see it right there. Uh, I think the main difference though with this is like I slot it and drill it. This is just a stock one. So let's put the new one back on. Those are the old pads. They are they were basically gone. And that's the reason why I'm doing the the upgrade, right? For the new pads, we are going with uh, carbon fiber ceramic with the rotor ring. We're gonna put the bracket back on because we need to remove this part to put the pads, the new pads on. So I'm gonna put a li little bit of Loctite. There we go. You're gonna need a tool like this so you can press the, the piston back on. It's simple to use, so just plug here, it's gonna push uh, the piston back on because you're not gonna be able to uh, put the pads, new pads with the piston like this. You can use a C-clamp like this one, but I have this two here, it was like $9 from AutoZone and then you start pushing and you're gonna see the piston going back on and that's it. I love this too though. 
So for the new pads, you need to plug this little bracket here, here, see? And that's it. Just go like this. So the one with that little bracket goes inside towards the bottom. And that's why you need your piston to go all the way down, you know what I'm saying? Because otherwise it's not gonna fit. All right, this, it's one bad boy done. I, I had a hard time taking my rotor off, so maybe you don't, I don't know. Maybe it's my truck was stuck there. Uh, I'm gonna repeat the process for the other side, and then we're gonna do the front. The wheels are on so far. We good? I'm gonna turn the truck around. All right, the reason why I left the front for the last, it's because it's a little more complicated. This one, it's a four piston caliper. And what is funny about the Chevy Colorado, you see those beans here? Uh, they are pretty messy to work with. So uh, what do we need to do is there, uh, there are two 18 millimeters here. There's no bracket on this one though. That's the only difference from that one too. There's no bracket on this one. So we're gonna remove the entire caliper, then we're gonna replace the rotor by removing this bolt here, putting the new one on, and then we're gonna deal with this. See here, there's a black metal here, and you see here, I don't know, let me see if I can put more lights here for you all. There we go. There's a, this little pin here. The You need to take that off with like a plier, and that's where the problem is. it is because it's pretty painful to remove that, especially if they are not completely straight, which is probably the case here. There we go. That's the, the pin. And there's one on the bottom too. Maybe a small screwdriver will do. There we go. It's this freaking thing. See how small they are. All right, now the challenge is to remove those pins. I know it's not gonna be easy, but we'll try. There's a Phillips screw there that you can try to turn. That's what I'm saying, how bad it is. I don't know because it might because it's so rusted. Uh, I don't know. And the bottom one, it's even worse. There we go. Those things, they are the worst because they hold the pads on it. So now I can go ahead and remove the entire caliper, take it off. There are two 18 millimeters here on the back. So what you can do, you can put a screwdriver here and tap so the piston is going back to place. Now we're just gonna reverse the process, right? So the new rotor goes in uh, because this is the, the worst part. I had a problem trying to take that bolt out, but I fix it. So, uh, but here is the is where the worst parts uh, for this install they are, right? So, <clears throat> because there's those clamps that goes here uh, and so on and so forth. So as you can see, the pistons are back on. Uh, so now I just need to replace the the pads and put the caliper back on. I cannot put the pads from the outside like this. So if I, if I face here, this, It's not going there. So has you gotta put the the pads from this side, and then it's gonna fit just like a glove, or it 
should. Okay, for this step, I'm gonna try to put you guys as close as possible. So with the, the rotors on, and remember the pads, they have to go from the inside. For some reason on my, I cannot, I, you cannot push from here. And I'm saying like, they are really in there. And then we're gonna get those pins and the bracket. And here is the thing, the bracket, it's gonna seat right there, right? And the pin is going through the hole and it's not a easy uh, place. So it needs like a hammer. I don't know why my, for some, like, some reason, it's, it's like super in there. So maybe yours is different, but this goes in like this and that, that's gonna sit like this and this, that's gonna sit like this and this uh, tab here, see, it's there, but you gotta press so that pin can go through this clamp here. Like this, see, has to go through that like this and keep coming. And there you go, so one in and that's how it's gonna sit, right? Same one for the bottom. Yeah, you see here, there's a metal thing. That's the bottom of the pad. That's the only one who has this. Really easy to identify. Uh, now I'm gonna clean it a little, a little bit. We need to put this, this back on. I don't even know if you can see this little pin. That's gonna hold those pins in place. But we're gonna get it. There we go. She's back together. So far, the worst. <laughs> I'm all black, so tomorrow I'm gonna be clean, so I promise. Besides my black face, uh, this was the hardest break uh, job that I did because even the the Corvette wasn't this bad though. This from caliper is not, is not a joke, but it still can get done. Just be patient, be careful with the two pins, and that's it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, I was just too tired to finish in there. Uh, and I wanna show you guys, look at that, how the brakes look. The thing is, you barely can see the brakes, right? Uh, but they are there. So I just check all the tabs and everything, and they seem to be in good, good place. Here are the back. I don't know, maybe it was me, but that four piston caliper, it's too hard to work with. Those, those you know, uh, those clamps, they don't go smooth. I don't know if it was my truck, but that it just sucks. <laughs> it's just my, my personal opinion. I don't like it. You still, it's durable, you can do it, but it's frustrating. It's, that's, what, that's what it is, that's the word, it's frustration. Because you spend a lot of time I don't know if my truck was a little rusted and make it harder, but I cleaned everything up. It's durable, you can do great. So I hope you guys enjoy, I hope it was helpful. So make sure to subscribe. Uh, also make sure to hit your notification bell because a lot of people are not getting that I'm posting. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe so we can share this kind of information with more people. Give away, hard work force, hard work force. Don't forget to get your entries. The giveaway ends on Christmas, so don't waste time. Make sure to check it out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Never forget, enjoy your life and work hard for it.